have an incredible lineup on the open read predator calls. Now, this has the flexible tube on the end of it there, but it also has on the inside the dual chamber technology. But on this call here, this is our open read coyote howler. You're able to do a rabbit in distress on this, but also do the howler, do a yip on it, and I'll show you just by taking again your lips on this on the front part of it, okay, and I'll do a howl with it to show you exactly how it's supposed to do. Or you can do the rapid distress by taking it, putting it in your mouth, your lip all the way down towards the end of the reed. Now you can either use your lip or use your teeth on it, whatever is more comfortable to you, and then put it into the palm of your hand, right in between your thumb and your index finger, taking your little finger and cupping it around the bell there and hold it however you can control the call and do this. By rotating and fluttering your hands on the end of it, gives that distress sound. Here's some key elements when trying to do the howl on this. Number one, what you're saying. You're going yip, 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 and at that last yip, you're holding it for three to four seconds. But you need to find your proper lip placement on the soundboard. But wherever your proper lip placement is, make sure that you keep equal pressure on the reed, not letting up. You can move it up or down to get different tone like I'll show you here, but make sure that you're always holding your lip pressure constant on top of the reed to the soundboard. Again, going yip, 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 and I'll show you what that is supposed to be. And it's all right there, just that yip, 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 holding at that three to five seconds. But again, finding your lip placement on it and keeping that equal pressure on the reed will give you an excellent howl sound. I love having multiple capabilities in one call. With this, having that rabbit distress, here's how you do it. By taking your proper lip placement, again, your lip thickness is different than mine, vice versa. So you want to move your lip as close to the call that you possibly can, or some use their teeth, whatever is comfortable for you. You want to make sure that you have equal pressure as close to the call as you can with either your lip or your teeth, and you're going to do this kind of a, a, a grr sound into it while you're fluttering the end of your hand, your little pinky finger, by closing the, the reed, and you'll get this distress sound that goes a little something like this. approximately 30 seconds. Wait just a second and then repeat again. But again, proper lip placement or your teeth as close to the call where you can get a functional sound out of it, fluttering your little finger, and there you go, you'll have an incredible distress sound.